Hi, I am Kaya Genius, and it was about time that I addressed a question that I often get asked. Why work with two Ds in DDPCR when you get the same benefits and even more with one D in Nanoplate DPCR? Both methods deliver highly sensitive and precise nucleic acid detection and absolute quantification and can maximize the number of targets analyzed per reaction without compromising data quality, but Nanoplate DPCR does it faster and resource efficiently. Let's look into the following three questions discussing data quality from Nanoplate DPCR on the Kayacuity system. Question one, do the experiment setup and data analysis steps using the Kayacuity system adhere to DMIKEY guidelines? Yes, the Kayacuity Digital PCR system is compliant with the DMIKEY guidelines. Your DPCR experiment can benefit from the following. Fixed and sealed nanoplate partitions to avoid cross-contamination. Robustness of partitions, towards, for example, detergents, compared to droplets. User-friendly software features for reliable documentation and reporting, for example, the latest Kayacuity software introduces the functionality of a temperature gradient, allowing you to determine the precise temperature at which your experiment should run. As sample materials are often diluted before digital PCR analysis, the latest software version calculates the prevalence of the targeted material in a sample and any dilution required. After the run, the software adjusts for dilution and converts the results into user-defined units automating and documenting everything crucial for pharmaceutical companies' reports and audit trails. In research, these experimental details help assess the validity of the protocols used, repeat the experiments, and critically evaluate the quality of the results generated. Question 2. What factors contribute to high-quality DPCR data generated on the Kayacuity? Apart from robust instrumentation and quality assays, Successful DPCR results are attributed to auto thresholding in line with the DMIKEY guidelines to confidently separate positive from negative partitions and deliver consistently accurate results. Volume precision factor or VPF that addresses well-to-well -well and batch-to-batch -batch variability, improving quantification precision even further additional cycles that can be added to optimize assays easily, additional imaging steps that can be added without repeating the whole experiment, flexibility concerning plate types, sample volumes, and number of partitions that increase sensitivity, access to raw images, which makes it easier to spot suboptimal conditions. Did you know? The number of peer-reviewed publications citing Kayacuity DPCR just three years after its launch is over 200 and is steadily growing because researchers trust its quality. Question three, are there application parameters I should look for to ensure high DPCR data quality? Yes. Protocols and reagents. Pre-analytical sample treatment, for example. Restriction enzyme digest when using GDNA as template material and the starting quality and quantity of the template sample dilution, assay design, reaction setup, cycling and imaging conditions. Matrix effects are some of the parameters that, when properly checked, can influence positive outcomes, such as clear separation between positive and negative partitions and efficient amplification. To ensure accurate analysis based on valid partitions, artifacts such as dust and other particles, low amplification areas, and areas of poor filling, if any, that could influence the result analysis, are removed from the images by automatic corrections done by the software and not require any action on your part. Re-imaging the plate is always an option. If you're yet to be convinced of 1D equals DPCR equals done, Download this application e-booklet to see for yourself. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next episode. Kyogen.
Sample to Insight.